Hello, my friends. It is 8.12 a.m. No, it's actually p.m. <laughs> it's fucking dark outside. Hello, boys. Um, confirm. Thank you. Welcome to the Watson Scott test. You know what this is? This is a thing I have um, saw on, like, on, like, a, um, uh, uh, I think the, uh, 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 internet, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> not really. Um, I have heard about this test that it is supposed to be, uh, I don't know, scary or, well, not, <laughs> well, not scary in the, the sense of, like, ooh, spoopy, a ghost, oh, <laughs> more in the sense of, oh, shit. I think something is hunting me, or like in my house, which is not true. But <laughs> hey, fuck it. This test is designed to help you understand your deepest anxieties and the underlying causes of your darkest fears. <laughs> I'm gonna get real close to the mic so you can understand me perfectly. Continue. Cool. For each question, select the response which which gives the best and most truthful answer. Cool. <laughs> At the end of the examination, you will receive your Analysis and Certificate of Participation. Yay! Yay! <laughs> cool. Please note that typically only 13% of participants are able to complete the test due to the onset of total body paralysis or unanticipated cardiac arrest resulting in death now you're D for dead. do you wish to continue of course i do <laughs> i'm doing this for your entertainment after all so fuck yes i wish to firstly some calibration questions cool 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 Cool. Very cool, yeah. <laughs> what color is the sky during the day? Actually, no color. Because, you know, it's basically see-through. Okay, I don't know. I'm not gonna dive into um, the physics and chemics of uh, the sky shit, whatever. Uh, so... We're just gonna know the most obvious answer, although purple would be fucking cool. Dude, I would love a purple sky, because purple is awesome. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue on that. Purple is awesome color, period. <laughs> also, can you even see my, my, my cursor? I don't know if you can. Um, ah, oh, wait a second, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna figure that. Alright, alright, I can figure it. It should be possible to see my cursor now. Yep. Um, yes, it should, like, um, display the cursor correctly. I hope it's not fucking up something. I really hope so. Also, yes, I know the quality of the recording, I just say, I just see is questionable, but that's mostly due to the weird bullshit on the screen, which is so much weird fucking noise that apparently the recorder can't really interpret that well, but it gets the point across, hopefully, because if not, I'm gonna fucking scream an agony and despair <laughs> so anyway dot 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 if there are three oranges and I take away two how many are there left? Oh, how many are left? well in math um they told us that three minus two is one so apparently that I could choose infinity or five <laughs> But I don't think they would be truthful. And we want to answer a test truthfully, don't we? Are you playing a game right now? No, I'm taking a very important test. 
to help you with your studies. Are you sure it's not a game? Yeah, I am pretty sure. Ooh, I like that red. That looks cool. Calibration complete. Your test will begin now. Okay, cool. By the way, it looks... It kind of gives you the illusion if there, there was a face here, kind of. But that's probably just over analysing probably again. That's running outside and you're walking in bare feet. You take one step forward and crush a snail between your toes. You feel... Hmm. Honestly, I feel guilty about that. Hmm. I mean, I just would have ended like... I mean, I, I'm gonna assume that the snail is dead because I crushed it. I mean, if it was a human, then uh, okay, inconvenient, but... Hey, but, I mean, uh, a snail, kind of guilty, yeah, kind of guilty, yes. You're walking home at night. Hey, suddenly a deep, booming bark from behind causes you to turn around. You see a vicious dog drooling from its frothing mouth. I fucking hate dogs, thank you. <laughs> Depressed. Well, no, that's what I usually feel. But in this in this particular thing, I would probably a fearful might be I don't know, angry. Maybe because it's fucking noisy and I hate super loud noises. Excited in a negative way maybe. Nothing mm, I don't know. Depressed, by the way. Typo. <laughs> Just gonna point it out here. So, if you're watching Watson Scott, or whatever your name is, I'm just gonna assume it's Watson Scott because it's named the Watson Scott test. And humans have the tendency to name things after themselves. So, um, maybe fearful, because it would probably be like. Because loud noises usually. They don't really scare me in a way of like, uh, yo, that's so creepy. More like in a way of like. I'm just gonna startle and like, I don't know, my heart rate is gonna drop to minus 500. So, yeah. I suppose fearful. Your pet cat drop. I don't have a cat. <laughs> drops the dead mouse on your front door. Door? Yeah, door, doorstep. Okay, cool. Its front legs are missing. Oh. I mean that is a that is a that is a um like for all the people who don't know I don't know how I know this but um I've read that if can't if cats do that they want to show you that they that they're I think they're um I don't know if it was that they're concerned about you or if they like you I think though if, if it's the if they like you or something so maybe not aroused in that in, in a sexual way. I just be proud, I suppose, because I I would be proud that I made a cat happy, I guess, because that they they do that if they like you, if I'm not mistaken. I will now show you an image. Cool. Please study it. The image will not move. That's what Albert Einstein said too. No, <laughs> he probably didn't. Continue. Um, okay, it will not move. Cool, yeah, that's literally image. The definition of an image, it will not move. It's a still fucking image. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to study it. Show me the image. Ooh, what is that? Looks like a spider, but with like, um, scales of eight. It was like, hey, 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 you wanted me to study it, bro. Oh man, I wanted to look at that a little bit more. How does that image make you feel? Um,. Interested, actually. Really, I mean, nothing of the above, I suppose. Resentful. No. Uneasy, afraid. No. I mean, motivated. Not really. More interested. So I suppose nothing of the above. Do you believe in ghosts? Hmm. I mean, I know that physically. They, as we know uh, on physics, 
it should not be possible for them to exist because that makes it absolutely no fucking sense. Um, but I suppose I'm undecided because I have seen some whack shit in my life and definitely happening to me too. Like some whack shit in, in the sense of spirit, well not spirit, but um, ghostly activity kind of shit, whatever. Have you ever seen ghosts? Well, mm, yes, I would say yes because I've seen the direct, not maybe the direct actions of it, but like, um, like things that fell down that really should not ever fall down, like literally, physically, impossibly doing so. That were just literally in front of my fucking eyes. Um, so I suppose yes. Thinking about the room you're in right now, has anyone ever died here? Hmm, well, not, not, not yet. <laughs> it's even there. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, well, not yet. Well, I don't know what will happen to me anyway. Well, so anyway. Um. <laughs> okay, next question. Hmm. Very atypical results. Well, I'm an atypical person, I suppose. I don't know. <laughs> Please indicate how strongly you agree or disagree with the following statements. Cool. Of course. I have a vivid imagination. Strongly agree. <laughs> I have a fucking shit ton of imagination you can't even believe. <laughs> often think about the ghosts inside my house. Well, not often, maybe? I mean, kind of sometimes, but I wouldn't say often, not, but from time to time, maybe. I take pleasure in seeing other people in pain. Well, it depends on what kind of people they are. If they're people that I don't like, then I would strongly agree, but if not, then I suppose I would disagree. So, like, I would normally strongly disagree. If it's people that I like or something, but if it's people that I don't like and seeing them in pain would not maybe like be arousal pleasure or something like that, but just be a little bit like pleasing. And in the sense of like, you know, you know, you probably can't even, <laughs> you're probably like, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> but I'll just say this week then. Before everyone's gonna be like, I don't understand what the fuck are you trying to say. I'm often unaware of things that are right behind me. Actually, no, I often, very often, actually, like, <laughs> you could say that I'm paranoid sometimes. But I'm not, I normally really just, I'm pretty aware of my things, because I am very noise sensitive, and if anything were to move behind me, would you please stop playing noises, you fucking Watson Scott boy? Um, <laughs> but, like, I'm normally very aware of that. Like, if anything moves or something, I'm pretty much sure I hear it. There is an unexpected guest in my house. No, actually not, because pff, our door is locked and live in a flat, so... Yeah. <laughs> Fourth story, what I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> Sorry to disagree. Nobody would know if I went missing. Yeah, probably. I mean, my mom would probably know, but probably not many people. I mean, you guys would probably not know. Or maybe forget even, I don't know. Um, so I would kind of agree, not strongly agree, because my mom would probably know, but probably nobody else, really. Other people probably not know about that, or notice it in any way, really. I don't know. Poetry is the most intelligent form of artistic expression. Hmm. Well, I mean, it contains a lot, a lot, a lot of thought and, like, mystery and things that are hidden behind simple words, so I would say yes, kind of. I mean, drawing a picture does definitely take intelligence, <laughs> you know. I'm not saying that other artistic expressions are not good or whatnot. Um, I'm just saying that I think poetry is... In my opinion, something you have to think about a lot because of the words. Because in a picture, you can do certain um, 
things like I don't know you can draw certain characteristics into something but in in poetry you need to do all these things with words you literally need to with just few words you need to this you need to make a, a scenery like well maybe not always a scenery but you need to create something meaningful you know <laughs> I mean I ate pizza today is not very poetic you know <laughs> maybe that I consumed something is the poetic value of that that I I I myself had to consume something so that I, I'm here today. You know what I mean. <laughs> so I suppose I agree. Correct. Thank you. <laughs> I've designed a new algorithm for generating insightful poetry. Yay! Here's just here is this one I I just wrote. Roses are red. I'm dead. <laughs> Silent is mouse. Oh, I heard that one before. Your doors are locked, and I'm, I'm inside your house. Well, I've I've heard that one before. It's a pretty good one, actually, in in terms of spooky boy, spookiness. <laughs> Congratulations! Only 41 of participants typically reach this point in the examination. From now on, the questions will be much more intense. Do you wish to continue? Hmm. Why not? What are you gonna do? Stab me? <laughs> I can do that myself, you know. So, there's nothing much that could go wrong. More than 15 minutes, more less than 15 I don't even know. Wait, um. Let me think. Um. I mean, it depends if you're running or just walking. Like, also, what speed? Is it like talking like snail speed or like my walking speed kind of thing? Hmm. Because I walk like way more than average fast. I'm like, I'm like almost sprinting when I walk, but not really sprinting. I'm just like very fast at walking, but slow fucking running. <laughs> Literally like Steve, fast walker, but slow runner. So I would say. <laughs> Maybe more than a 15 minute walk? Probably. When you're home alone, do you lock your doors? Yeah, I always do. That's <laughs> it's a thing we always do. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm home alone or not. It doesn't matter if there's a fucking entire family inside my house. I'm always gonna lock the doors. I think that's pretty normal, actually, right? Hypothetically, if you were to scream as loudly as possible right now, would anyone hear you? Yes, definitely. I live in the flat, so the people under me would probably scream, SHUT UP, YOU FUCKING STUPID BASTARD! Um... Yeah, they would definitely. And my mom probably would, too. <laughs> so, yes, um... I would say yes, definitely. Imagine you finish this test, and you're lying in bed tonight. Attempting to sleep, which is never gonna happen because I can literally not sleep. <laughs> but that's just normal. You understand that I'm inside your house and you hear me underneath your bed. Which is not possible because there's so much stuff under, un, under my bed that you would probably literally scrape off your fucking face trying to get out of there. Well, anyways. <laughs> Um, get up and look on a bit, and I stab you in the eyes. Nah, bruh. I mean, I could do that myself if <laughs> if I had to. <laughs> Try to pretend you can't hear me or feel my presence, but then I stab you in the eyes. Fall asleep. Oh, sorry, I, I accidentally tapped again. Sorry. Um, <laughs> fall asleep knowing that you wake up to me stabbing you in the eyes. <laughs> oh, stab yourself in Well, all these end of me like getting stabbed in the eyes, so, hmm. Certain that you can't hear me or feel me. <laughs> like I can't hear you, so like monsters will go away if they can't if I can't see them. <laughs> There's just a little child logic, bro. <laughs> ah, dude, this test is fun. I should do this more often, really. <laughs> Get up and look in the bed. I just stab you in the eyes. Hmm. I mean, I, d I wouldn't even have to get up, like, dude. <laughs> uh, full sleep. Also, I could just literally jump on my bed so it would literally just fucking break down and then it will crush you. So, yeah. <laughs> 90 kilogram, 
fucking resting on you. You don't want that. <laughs> Including the mattress, probably, yo. Uh huh. How, how much does the mattress weigh? Probably not that much. Stab yourself in the eyes. I mean, I could, but. Get up, look at the bed. Why not? Because if I looked in the bed, I would know that there's absolutely nothing there. Because it's physically, physically not even possible. I imagine it. It's impossible for someone to literally lay under there. Not even my fucking, I don't know, nine year old cousins would do that, would fit under there. Because it, it's impossible. Also, there's like a, um, a kind of like a metal kind of line thing under the bed that's basically you think it ended for support but it it's make, it makes it literally impossible to play another so yeah Decker's holding a gunpoint at 50 feet away and threatens to kill him if you move closer you're armed with a single shot muzzle loading percussion cap pistol which is not accurate enough to hit the attacker from where you are standing hmm do you Take the shot anyway, put your gun down and attempt to negotiate. Do nothing but white screen pass passages from Rudy Kipling's The Jungle Book and oh my god, I just literally hate it again. Oh my god, I have two my my hands are just too too clicky. They just always always fucking doing weird shit. Um beginning in the phrase death in the garden lies dead. Uh then shoot yourself in the head. <sighs> well, I don't know. Tempting that I can shoot myself in the head, but nah. Put a gun down and attempt to negotiate. Because seemingly I'm a cop right now. <laughs> I will now show you an image. Oh, again, please study it. Last time was pretty interesting. So, um, the image will not speak. Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you for not screaming at me like a bitch. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Both both are like spider images. It looks very cool, though. Not gonna lie. Thinking about the image, which phrase best describes you? Hmm. From the spires and legs and the fear. Poetic, isn't it? I'm the redness. I'm the spy eyes. I'm the legs. I'm the fear. I am nothing. I'll ask this one more time. Are you playing a game right now? Mm, nope. Do you know that I am a good person? Mm, no, I don't know. I can't really rate it yet. Are you lying to me right now? Hmm. No, not really. I'm trying to be truthful here, you know. Lying is forbidden. True. Just like disrespecting the rules. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> Please select any of the following sports that you have played. Hmm. Wrestling, Jiu-Jitsu, Mixed Martial Arts, Sigma Dawn. Actually, none of the above. Please select any of the following industries that you have occupational experience with. I have zero occupational experience yet, <laughs> literally. So maybe that's because, like, I don't know, children working at weird shit, like, the children's work is literally forbidden. In in Germany, so fuck it. If you saw in the street, if you saw me in the street, would you say hello? Hmm. Nah, probably not, because I'm like literally antisocial as fuck. Like I would probably not even make eye contact. <laughs> Sorry about that, but like I mean, people would probably mistake that for like being disinterested and like just rude, maybe that I ignorant whatever. But I I don't know. I just. I just don't like looking at people, and definitely not in their eyes, because I I am very uncomfortable doing that. So no. Very odd. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> odd, but not in a bad way, I, I hope. <laughs> Choose the word that is most similar to appropriate. To appropriate. Q. 
kill baby die innocent innocent i suppose poison hmm appropriate hmm i think innocent is the one your recent answers indicate you are exhibiting a fight or flight response and may be at risk of acute stress reaction. Dude, I am as calm as I can be. <laughs> uh, I'll need you to breathe slowly and calm down. Please press continue when you are calm. I'm actually pretty calm, so I don't think I need to wait more. Only when you are calm, of course. I'm pretty calm right now. Please take a moment to look away from your monitor and observe the nearest exit. Make sure you could run if something were to happen. Do this now. Now. Okay. Okay, so, well, we got the door there. Um, it's on my fucking uh, left side. Dyslexia kick kicks in again, sorry. Um, <laughs> I need to make sure I'm not saying bullshit because else people would say, Dude, you have dyslexia. Yeah, okay, I don't, but fine. Um... <laughs> So it's on my left side, just like the microphone, which is, well, it's kind of in front of me, left side, f front left, you, you know. Um, so we got, like, um, free space here. Um, there is the window at my right, which is literally, like, I don't know, 30 meters off the fucking ground. Because fourth floor is literally fucking um, way up high. It's not a Japanese skyscraper, but I don't think I need that. So. Well, there's nothing much here, really. Actually, I can drink some water. Here. Hear that? ASMR, right? Cool. Um. Oh, dude, that is cold. I love that. Mmm. Oh, cold water is the best. No joke. I love cold water. Okay, continue. Thank you. <laughs> did you look away from your screen? Yeah, I, I did. I did. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, no need to get so impolite so quickly. Do you think I can tell when you're looking away from your screen? Yeah, probably, because you could literally test me with, you know, um, like in Polyne Island, <laughs> when Asmodeus was literally asking, like the demon Asmodeus.exe was asking, um... You know, it was like displaying weird shit on on the screen, and if you looked away, you did like, you couldn't see it. And then he asked you what was what was what was typed like what was um displayed where my name normally is like what what was displayed under me, um and his name changed from as Modi saw it you see to something I think like um remember this and you know you had to type it in and if you and if you, you because you if you looked away you didn't know what he typed there for a second because he changed it back and so he would know because you typed in something wrong that you've looked away from your screen I know I probably <laughs> I'm not describing this very good I'm sorry so yes you would do you feel safe in your house right now hmm I, I don't I never really feel safe um but I would say it's it's okay so, I'm sure it's probably the most accurate answer I can give. Are you having fun? Yes, I am actually. <laughs> Thank you for giving me two yes options, but I only need one. I, I know when you're lying to me. Yeah, cool. Please ignore any external stimulus. Concentrate only on this screen. There are no unexpected guests in your house. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I even got that right. I, I just... I just assumed it was gonna be house. <laughs> there are no unusual sounds coming from inside your house, which is true. Do not take your eyes off the screen. Do you understand? Okay, wait. Um, let me reposition myself so I don't need to look away from the screen for a second. Um. Hey, that was a cool sound, by the way. ASMR in the background, by the way. I appreciate that very much, but please do not, um, you know, like, literally play sounds when I'm talking because I don't like that. Because it's hey, 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 hey. Yeah, of course I understand. Give me only an option, so... It's kind of a rhetorical question. Oh, sorry, I couldn't really see that. This can help, can help us all relax. Sing, it's relaxing. What are you... 
What are you doing, Jesus? <laughs> Fuck with the weasel, blah 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 blah. <laughs> Monkey's on the table. Stick knock it off. Aw, oh, breathing we breathing is not in the background, I love that. <laughs> well no, it's actually quite neutral. <laughs> Every night when I go out, the monkey's on the table, blah blah blah. <laughs> it's repeating a lot, you know. Whoa, what the fuck? We got a fucking ghost in here. Ghost. Go on, boy. Thank you for participating. Results are being processed. Okay, cool. Oh, come on, man. Easily manipulated. People remember my face, which is also not true. <laughs> Hyper aware of offensive smells. <laughs> what? <laughs> Easily manipulated. Mm, I wouldn't really say that. Sequence says me feel guilty. I'm most afraid of being beaten to death with a hammer. Mm, no, not really. I don't really fear death that much. Maybe most afraid of, I don't know. I don't really, I don't, I can't really think of a fear. Um, I, I, I said, dude, I, I just, I just did a clean cut there. But that is not even, is that, wait, could be true. I don't know. Um, I had this like for one minute on, so I had to get the recording started. Oh, so yeah. But clean cut here, really. <laughs> um, well, this is not true, I think. Not really. Um, this is not true, <laughs> um, I guess, I don't know what you mean by offensive smells, but I am aware of things, um, stepping on sense when I feel guilty, yes, true, being beaten to death with a hammer, Pff, um, nah, not really, that's worse, that's worse, continue, the main test is complete. There's a bonus test available. Would you like to take it? Hmm. I mean, for you, this ends here, but for me, this will go on, boys. 